Hey boss, there's five of them. What are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna have to decide which one to fight first. Well, how do you propose we do that? Well, maybe we could write some numbers on some rocks. And then we could throw those rocks and see which numbers land face up. You mean like some kind of math rocks? No, math rocks is stupid. There's a better name for it. I just can't think of it right now. So we're just gonna leave it to chance? I can think of no better way to die than leaving it to chance. Hey, it's Tim here, your Average Dungeon Master and your Amateur Bar Master. Today, I'm doing something a little different. I'm going to take my chances, and I'm going to roll for it. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. I'm going to roll for random ingredients, and I'm going to make mystery cocktails. So I've got a couple categories of ingredients here. My bases, I've got six bases, tequila, dark rum, Jamaican rum, gin, rye, and brandy. So those are my bases. I'm going to roll a D6. A D6 is that's I slipped into tabletop role-playing terminology here. I'm going to roll a six-sided die to determine my base spirit. Then I've got sweeteners. I've got Midori, hot honey, simple syrup, berry syrup, brown sugar syrup, ginger syrup, granulated sugar, and maple syrup. Eight sweeteners. I'm going to use an eight-sided die to determine what sweetener to use. For my modifiers, I've got creme de menthe, falernum, creme de cacao, coffee liqueur, elderflower liqueur, orange liqueur, cream, and cream of coconut in the cooler. I'll use another eight-sided die to determine which modifier to use. Then I've got wild cards. Coffee, Amaro, Luxardo, Lele, red vermouth, dry vermouth, lemon juice, and lime. Those are my eight modifiers. Going to use another eight-sided die to determine which wild card to use. Last but not least, I've got bitters. Cardamom, molasses, grapefruit, chocolate, peixos, orange, and angostura. Another eight-sided die will determine which bitters to use. This is going to be quite the journey, so stick with me. Starting with base spirit, I think. We'll roll a d6 to find out which base spirit I'm going to use. Three. Three is brandy. Modifier. Eight-sided die. Five. Coffee liqueur. Interesting. Okay. Now my wild card. Another eight-sided die. Six. That's dry vermouth. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Dry vermouth and coffee liqueur. Could be, could be really good. Sweetener. Eight-sided die. Seven. Seven is Midori. I don't know why I put this in here. This is going to ruin everything. This could be really good and nobody knows it. It could just be super great and no one's ever discovered this combination, Midori, coffee liqueur, brandy, and dry vermouth. Maybe it's awesome. All right, we'll roll to see if we're gonna use any bitters. Two. Two is chocolate. Okay, at least that goes along with my coffee liqueur. This drink does not have any fruit juice in it. I need my mixing glass. Part of the challenge of this and part of the fun of it is deciding what ratios to use here. Everything I have is slightly alcoholic. I have no modifiers or wild cards that don't have alcohol in them. So I want to tone down my standard spirit amount of two ounces. We'll take that down. Midori and coffee liqueur are both sweet. Midori much sweeter than the coffee. So we got to be careful with the Midori to not over sweeten everything, but the dry vermouth is good there to balance out the sweetness of those two. This is gonna be weird. Ounce and a, mm -hmm. we're gonna start off with an ounce of brandy. I might add another half ounce. I'm kind of thinking about, about that. So an ounce of brandy. Okay, dry vermouth. I'm gonna do a half ounce. I like dry vermouth with citrus. So the Midori might help out the dry vermouth here. Those two things could go well together. It's the coffee that's kind of throwing me. We're going to start off with uh, a half ounce of coffee, but that's going to take over. I might need more brandy. Do a half ounce of coffee. Give that a smell. Interesting. Coffee and bitter dry things like dry vermouth kind of can go well together. Like orange peel, coffee and orange peel. This is this is uh, going to be very interesting. I'm going to add my other another half ounce of brandy now. I think it, it's going to need it. I should accidentally didn't ounce. Okay, that's all right. All right, I'm going to start off with just even just a bar spoon of Midori. I think this is Midori is going to do weird things to this drink. Okay, ice. Pack this as full as I can. And then we're going to mix this up. Oh, forgot my bitters. Chocolate. 
Chocolate, coffee, brandy, great. Dry vermouth, interesting. Midori, what? One dash of bitters. Stirring this to dilute it and to chill it. I'm concerned, I'm concerned about this. I'm petrified. Straining, it's kind of a muddy pond water color. Okay, here goes nothing. Well, that's funky, that's funky. Um, the melon and coffee in principle is not bad, but the dry vermouth accentuates the, the dryness of the coffee in a bad way. There may be something here, and there may be something here, but these two don't belong together. I think the uh, measure here for these drinks is gonna be would I send it back? I think I probably would. I think I would send this back. If this was my first drink, I think I'd send it back. If I had a few drinks and this came like third, I might accept it. It's very boozy. To talk a little bit about my models, these are elemental drakes, which are wingless dragons. I've got a uh, forest drake here. I've got a desert drake. Kind of has elements of a blue dragon. It's got lightning abilities. You can see the lightning coursing up its claws and in its mouth. Then you've got your fire drake here. Then I've got a aquatic drake. And then I've got a, a swamp drake here. This black camouflage swamp drake. Those are my five elemental drakes. I think my first drink here, pair that with the swamp drake because it looks like swamp water. All right, let me clean up. I don't know how many of these drinks I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a handful of them until I find something that I really like or I get tired of this. Drink number two. Starting again with a base spirit, we're gonna roll five. Five is gin, one of my favorites. Wild card, eight. Lime, rolling for my modifier. Three, velvet falernum. Rolling for my sweetener, five. Berry, okay. Falernum, berry syrup, lime, and gin. Okay, this is shaping up to be something. Bitters, six. Pay shows. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I like this. Okay. So we got lime. We're going to shake this drink. I'm going to go ahead and cut this up. Squeeze it into my shaking tin. Uh, full lime. Yeah, we'll do a full lime. So a full lime is about a half ounce, probably. Whereas a full lemon is probably an ounce or more. Let's measure it, actually. I'll go ahead and measure it. Yeah, half ounce of lime juice, exactly. Syrup. Falernum is kind. Of, it's pretty sweet. This is a two-to-one rich berry syrup a uh, quarter ounce let's do a half ounce of berry half ounce of lime half ounce of berry syrup falernum falernum has a really unique flavor and smell um i don't even know how to describe it it's almost it's almost like campfirey how much falernum do i want it's pretty sweet it's almost like a simple it's to that level i'm gonna do three quarters of an ounce of falernum i like it i want it to stand up against these other two ingredients Interesting. I, I'm, I'm excited about this one more so than the last, for sure. All right, Falernum is not very strong. What is the ABV on Falernum? 11%. So I'm not too worried about this strength of this drink. So I'm going to use my full two ounces of gin. That's sort of my starting point for my spirit is two ounces. And bitters. I'm going to do two dashes of Peixos. I'm kind of excited about this. Let's see what happens. All right, ice. I want the small side of my tin to be almost full. Small side dump into the big side, tap it. So I'm gonna shake it for 12 seconds. I'm shaking it until I develop a frost on the outside. That's really what I'm looking for. I'm excited about this drink. So my coaster for this one is charmed. I'm charmed by this combination, the idea of it. Let's see if it turns out as good as I hope. I'm serving this up like a cosmopolitan. Okay. Here's my charmed drink. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I would drink that for sure. Tart with the lime, the right amount of lime that doesn't beat everything else up. The falernum is maybe a little lost. <clears throat> I think I was right that I needed more of it. It's pretty sweet though. I wonder what it'd be like with just a little more falernum. Let's try it with just a little bit more. Falernum, the falernum almost tastes like burnt rubber in a good way. That sounds weird. I like that. I like, it's a Cosmo. 
It's very similar to a Cosmo. The lime and the berry syrup. I like that. Okay. Which Drake does this go with? Probably the Fire Drake, right? Just because of the color? Maybe. I don't know. Fire Drake. Okay, there's a winner. New Bay Spirit. Six. Jamaican Rum. Appleton Estate. Rolling for a modifier. Two. Creme de Cacao. Interesting. All right, for creme de cacao, I have Godiva chocolate liqueur. It's sweeter, it's good. It's much more of a dessert drink, so this hopefully will turn into a dessert drink. All right, roll for wild card. Three, Luxardo. Okay, Luxardo. Luxardo cherry. Roll for sweetener. One, hot honey. Chocolate cherry, great. Honey, okay, hot honey. Look at that. Jamaican rum, funky banana ja Jamaican rum, hot chocolatey cherry. All right, roll for bitters. One molasses bitters. That's kind of perfect. I almost, I was hoping for ginger to make this a little spicy, but the hot honey's gonna do that too. Okay, I'm excited about this one. I think this could be really good. No fruit juice, so we're gonna stir this again. Starting with thick ingredients, so honey. You can smell that jalapeno. This is gonna get too sweet quick. I want the flavors. I want the spice from the honey. I want the chocolate. I want the cherry. But I don't want anything to get too sweet here. The honey is definitely the sweetest of these. So, quarter ounce of hot honey. Luxardo. I think the chocolate's gonna be strong. So we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of Luxardo. That cherry, jalapeno, spice, chocolate with the Jamaican rum. I'm I'm digging this. All right, my chocolate liqueur. The only, the only reason I don't really like this is that it's opaque. I'd rather have something clear. Just a half ounce, if that. What's between a quarter and a half? A third of an ounce, just to give that chocolate flavor. And then my molasses bitters. I want two dashes of molasses. I want to taste this molasses. That was too much. Three dashes of molasses bitters. Now, nothing is, again, very sweet in here, so I'm okay to use my two ounces of rum. Let's just check this Luxardo. Uh, actually, it's 32%. The Godiva is 15. I'm gonna start off with that ounce and a half of my Jamaican rum. This is really going to change the character of this drink, the Jamaican rum. So I want to make sure that comes through. Mixing this up, I think a dive is going to give me a cloudy look to it. Maybe this is the swamp water drink. Getting less excited about it as I mix it. The idea of it is good. The chocolate, spiced honey, cherry, Jamaican rum, I'm on board for. But I think this Godiva is going to ruin it. I think it's too much of a dessert liqueur. I'm gonna do this in a rocks glass, and um, I'm stunned. I'm stunned because I thought this was gonna be good. Now I'm doubting myself. That's definitely the pond water drink. We'll go with Jungle Drake for this one. I, I like the flavor combination that I've got. It's just not an appealing looking drink. I don't know, let's see what happens here. Cheers. Um, what? Okay, the spice is the first thing that I taste. The jalapeno hits me first, and then the cherry is like behind that. It's like, hey, don't forget about me. The cherry comes right behind the spice. Very interesting, and then the chocolate is under it, and it's like, oh yeah, I was tasting chocolate the whole time and I didn't realize it. So the chocolate cherry, the spicy chocolate cherry is good. I like it. The Jamaican rum, the other things I think are, are, are what make the drink and the Jamaican rum adds complexity, but without, and it, but it doesn't make the drink. So I, I, hmm, I'm perplexed by this drink. I'm stunned. The molasses is, is lost. I, I don't know if I added more molasses bitters, if it would even do anything. Okay, would I send this back or not? No. I would have notes. It's not bad. 
but it could be better. I kind of want to do it again, but with different. All right. I'm stunned by this. Stay there. Uh, I think I want to do one more. I'm excited about this idea. I want to get into some weird modifiers and some of my other wild cards. I want to do it again. New base spirit. Almost lost it there. All right. New base spirit. One tequila. All right. Get out my Milagro Reposado tequila. All right. Modifier. Five. Coffee. Going back to the coffee. That's what the dice say. Rolling for wild card. Two. Coffee. Coffee liqueur and coffee. That's what the dice say. Sweetener. Two. Maple syrup. Interesting. Roll for bitters. Four. Grapefruit. Okay. Weird. I like it. Maple syrup, coffee liqueur, grapefruit bitters, tequila, and coffee. I think I get one re-roll. I've already used coffee liqueur. I'm going to re-roll my modifier. Roll for modifier. Seven. Cream. Okay. Cream, maple, grapefruit. Grapefruit's going to be weird. Coffee and tequila. It's kind of an espresso martini, kind of. Coffee and cream. All right. Maple syrup. Yep. Tequila. Weird. Cool. Grapefruit. Ha. Ah. All right. Am I shaking this? Yes, because coffee and cream, I want it to froth. I'm going to shake this. Shaking. Tequila, coffee, cream, maple. Nothing in this is sweet except for the maple syrup. How much maple syrup? Tim, decide. I want an ounce of maple syrup. I'm going to use half of this. I like maple syrup. This is exciting. Grapefruit bitters. Boy, I'm going to wait till the end to do that. So half and half. An ounce? An ounce of cream? Three quarters of an ounce. I know it's half and half. That's what I have. Cream and maple syrup. Good so far. Coffee. This is a this is a rocks glass drink. So let's go two ounces of coffee. Two ounces of coffee, two ounces of tequila. My modifier and wild card are not alcoholic and they're not sweet. So far I've got a nice coffee. And then I'm gonna add two ounces of tequila, my only alcoholic ingredient. Well, that's not true. Grapefruit bitters are alcoholic. Bitters are alcoholic, by the way. Remember that. Very interesting. I'm excited. I, I'm I'm curious about this drink. I'm not frightened. Uh, grapefruit. Boy, this is going to take a turn. It's a tequila coffee. It's a tequila iced coffee and then grapefruit. I like these grapefruit bitters. This is going to be weird though. One dash at least. Do I do two? One dash in. We'll see if I need another. Ice. I'm afraid to open that. Am I frightened by this? I think I'm gonna pour this down into a rocks glass. Just wanna strain this with a hawthorn. There's no pulp. And I want the froth, so I don't wanna use the fine mesh strainer. Okay, I'm frightened. But I think this might be my best. This might be the best result here. Just the smell when I opened and poured. Very interesting, very intriguing. The coffee and maple combo is awesome and the cream. Then the tequila gives you a base note almost, which is weird because I don't think of a tequila as a base, basey spirit. But there's a low note in there from the tequila that I'm digging. And then the grapefruit gives me some cool citrusy top notes. Just on the smell alone, I'm excited. I'm actually going to go ahead, since I've got a head and a foam on this, I'm going to take my grapefruit bitters and I'm going to give me some dots. All right, I don't want to try it because I don't want it to be bad. Here we go. It is good. It's real good. It's a maple iced coffee with tequila and grapefruit. It's real good. Huh. You surprised me, Drake. I don't know which Drake this goes with. Maybe the sand Drake. Well, obviously the desert Drake because it's got this sandy color. And then it's got this shock of citrus running through it. I would make this again. I would order this again. We have a winner for sure. I think this is amazing. I think I got a winner here. I found something. I found something. I did it. Huh. Cheers.